Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with Torns 71 on Forza Motorsport 6, getting a big twitch coming down the hill, bouncing off the barrier, and the MX5 Cup car goes for, well, it's still going, still tumbling, still, there we go, <laughs> finally comes to us about seven and a half rolls later, the Mazda eventually starts. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a big roll. That's a very, very big roll off, uh, just sort of bouncing off a, a crash barrier. Up next, we're into an Audi 90 at uh, Circuit of the Americas. Gives a knock from the going sector really, really well to uh, keep the car all just about pointing in the right direction. Goes for the slightly cheaty corner cutting option and Karma punishes him with a roll. That's how you stop corner cutting in game. You can make it so that the cars roll as soon as you try to cut the corner. Rare Gliscor 1 also finding the Karma curves. Gives a bump to the Land Rover into this third corner and in the wet and off a curb. Sure enough, there goes the uh, the Raptor. We're now stuck well and truly. Yeah, don't don't mess with the, with the Karma curves. They will spit you out the other side on your roof and you will lose all of your positions and in this case, slightly pointing the wrong direction. Yeah, they, they can be nasty buggers. A uh, Shadow Wara on a Forza 6 going for the uh, 200 mile an hour in a C-Class car. These RX-3s though, not very easy to control as he finds out, loses it coming up towards the second, or where the second of the chicanes would be, and that's going to be a big tumble as well. Yeah, when you try and get 200 miles an hour in a C-Class vehicle, they tend not to drive particularly well. So yeah, that sort of thing can happen. Uh, Stevie 1055. Uh, with some uh, Gurkha collisions that managed to get a double barrel roll and it clears, it bounces over two Gurkhas. Now that's, uh, that is some serious flight there. From <laughs> yeah, I did not expect one to be able to fly uh, that quite that far. Uh, HLR Juggernaut, again on Forza 6, is messing about with the kind of like a bounce or wheelie tune on the Fast and Furious Dodge. Gets things wrong and there's a bunch of cars ahead of him. It turns out wheeling Dodge versus Mini, the Dodge does kind of win that one. Don't know what happened to the Mini. Either way, the Dodge does a number of rolls. As Jam Jar Hastings, this is from the Wheelie, Mi uh, Wheelie Fiat Racing, sorry. Uh, he spun out coming around the final corner, decided to reverse across the line and as soon as the AI takes control, yep, that's our best solution. We are going to well, flounder around now on our on our roof and then get <laughs> by someone else. Yeah, best solution after crossing the line is to just sort of fall over, really. But AI can't really deal with wheelie cars. Lone variants on Forza 6 with... Uh, well, first of all, starts off quite peculiar because his Jaguar is, well, well out of the normal grid slots. The quite wide ended up all the way <laughs> down at the back. I am not sure, as you can imagine, the normal chaos going on at the start line. One car's pointing backwards, and then everything goes very, very weird. So it runs a little bit wide in the first corner, probably more scared of, well, what's going on up ahead. Cars are not re that's not really how you car. That's not really... <laughs> and then everyone, a few vehicles start, and then the rest are all joining in. Look at it, just... They, they stay pointing and it's very, very bizarre. I mean, I've seen all sorts of lag. I've seen all sorts of lag going on. I've personally never had the AIs do this. Now we're just going to make all of the smoke so you can't see a thing while you're driving. Oh, and now we're pointing backwards. Yep, now the cars are just racing. <laughs> racing around backwards and just every single car is doing it at this point. And then suddenly, oh, they all snap back to carry on normally. That's very, very eerie. Yami here, 682. Now, I've been sent many of these clips of cars bouncing off this uh, wall at high speed. This one, by far the most impressive because the Supra lands it on top of the little uh, kind of fence, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, normally the cars will saw through the scenery or get stuck. This one, nope, we're just going to park. We're going to park at the top of it because, you know, why not? Up next, a Hydrogen Nuke on Horizon 2 going for a speed run with a Fiat 8V. Uh, first of all, we got a random colour changing van. It got so scared at the high speed Fiat it uh, swapped the colours. Then we go for a very high speed run. <laughs> the way the cars kind of just carry, carry the momentum with the rolls on Horizon 2. It's really obvious between Horizon and Forza 6 where the cars carry the speed in the rolls. Uh, boss of the Boss 19 finding out that there are many ways to fall through the floor. Apparently, if you hit a tree, it can do it as well. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen cars fall through the floor after hitting sort of high speed jumps and so on. Never seen a car fall through just from hitting a tree. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a, a peculiar one. 
on to GTA 5 with a, a motorbike and trying to do some, some weirdies. Never a good idea to get too distracted trying to do some weirdies, especially when you're spinning the camera around to try and show said wheelies. You never know when you're going to hit a picador and then hit a side. And amazingly, Franklin's fine. Franklin's fine with all of that. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if he would be, particularly. On to a set of course. The Audi 90 is uh, back again. We are at Le Mans, coming up towards the second of the chicane. Runs a little bit too wide. Comes across the curb. The Audi rolls and then falls through the floor. It starts rolling, at least. And now we're going to plummet, and then we're going to reset. Turns out, curb and Audi, not particularly good combination at uh, Le Mans. And finally, Alex races on iRacing with the uh, the NASCAR racing trucks. Uh, you know, when you've got a pack like this at Daytona, you know what's probably going to happen at, at some point, especially if it's in a fail race episode. So, uh, yeah, one of the trucks tries to make it three wide, doesn't get it right, gives a little nudge, and everything plows in. One of the bigger crashes I've seen on iRacing. This kind of thing can happen with oval racing at such high speeds and so many vehicles. That is a lot. An awful lot of broken trucks tumbling and rolling around. Yeah, that's a big big shunt. It's a very, very big shunt on the other Daytona Oval. But uh, there we go. That is it for this episode. If you would like to submit clips to this series, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top is the Ferris Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit clips. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.